And so earlier tonight when Brian was asking you, are you new? Have you been here many times before? Um, this is the first time I've been in a room with more than 40 people in three years. Uh, a lot's happened in the last couple years, am I right on that? So I just want to say for you guys to take the time to hear the amazing stories of strength of our young people, thank you so much for being here tonight. Whether you're a veteran or a newbie, it's our job for you to leave inspired. So in 2010, according to a study from the US Department of Education, only 11% of students who were first generation and low income graduated college within six years. That compared to 55% of students who were not low income or first generation. They repeated the study in 2014, again, 11% graduation rate. And in the decades since, this number at a population level has barely moved. What has also not moved is the value of completing a higher education. Other studies have shown time and time again on the value of a college degree. College graduates are happier, healthier, better compensated, more likely to vote and to volunteer, and they live longer lives. Put simply, at an individual level, the value of a degree is incontrovertible. But to this, I would also like to add the collective good of education. That is, we cannot have a functioning democracy without an engaged and educated citizenry. With a populace that possesses a critical faculty, the powers of bigotry, misogyny, racism, and the powers of hate will not take root. It might sound dramatic, but I mean every word. Our country's future relies on education. Because I know what's possible, that 11% does not intimidate me. College-bound students who remember our first generation and low income are graduating at 55%. That is the same as the students who enjoy privilege. These students, I am proud to say, have closed the gap and they prove that demographics are not destiny. You see, at College Bound, students are the priority Resources are the necessity, and partnership is the strategy. And when these things work in Congress, the outcome, my friends, is inspiring. The stories you've heard so far speak to a dream we all have when we do this work. And that is that soon, students who do not come from means and who will be the first in their family to get that degree, that their job to do so won't be so tough that systems will change, and that we will see greater diversity and greater equity in our institutions. This is our theory of change at College Bound. By impacting individual lives, they can go in and become the leaders we need to change systems. You see it in the stories of Russell and Nanette, of Kelsey, and in the hundreds of young people and alumni at College Bound. We are really lucky tonight if you are an alumni of College Bound, could you raise your hand, please? Come. I am so happy you all could be here tonight. And I want to say for those of you, if you have not had a chance to chat with one of our alumni, do me a favor, before you leave tonight, just ask them a little bit about their journey. What happened? What are you doing now? because they are writing some amazing stories. So you will also hear how resources are the necessity and partnership is the priority in this story of Elise Lukey, who I will introduce here in just a second. You see, if a young person experiences a crisis and there's no one there to assist them with real, tangible help, real resources, they will fail. So many individuals and organizations have had a hand in Elise's journey, and College Bound's inputs have been, would have been muted had it not been for the wonderful educators 
at St. Louis Charter and Grand Center Arts Academy. They saw what was great in her. It would have been far harder for us to do our job unless her big sister Michelle from Big Brothers Big Sisters did not have such a deep relationship with her. She's benefited from the guidance and commitment of her professors at Mizzou, and Elise has also had the benefit of being a Hillman Scholar. The Hillman Scholars are a cohort of college-bound students who receive mentorship, curated professional exposure and connection, and direct scholarship dollars thanks to Jennifer and Tom Hillman. So when I say that partnership is the strategy, we all row in the same boat. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming to the stage Elise Lukey. <laughs> 